And here we go with the first fight of the evening. And your referee is Mr. Neil Hall. Here we go, our first fight of the evening in the amateur lightweight division scheduled for two three-minute rounds. That is 70 kilograms, 155 pounds. Rob Gins out of the red corner. Andy Craven out of the blue wearing the white trunks. Here we go, Daniel, our first fight of the night. Sold out crowd, 10 major championship fighting three, and we are underway. Craven starts out with a couple of leg kicks and immediately pushing the action, Rob Bins. And now they are in the clinch. Rob Bins in tremendous physical shape, Dan. He is a personal trainer. He's been with Alan Orr the Fightman and Iron Wolves for two years. He's an amazing chip for 80 years of age. And now a takedown by Andy Craven. Without a doubt, as far as I'm concerned, the two guys' age gap means nothing at all, especially tonight as far as I'm concerned with this guy here. You know, looking at the guy, Rob Bins, he looks in fantastic shape, as you've mentioned. Andy, being the younger guy, you would expect to be a little bit more toned, but both of them being just as aggressive. I actually thought the fact that the man with Andy being the younger guy, that he possibly could be a little bit worried about the fight, maybe a little bit apprehensive. We're not seeing any of that now. He's on top, and he's being completely dominant. Right now, he's looking, he's trying to get possibly an armbar, blasting away on Rob Benz. Benz trying to buck up a little bit and turn the tide. He's going for that armbar, as Andy Craven will see, and a beautiful sweep by Rob Benz. Showing that 14-year martial arts training, Rob Bins now in the guard of Andy Craven. With that, Andy, Andy is obviously going to, be, he's going to be really apprehensive. He doesn't know exactly where he's going to plan. He may have had a game plan beforehand, but has that all gone out the window? We're looking at this now, and he's trying to get the armbar on. He's obviously got a little bit of power. That was pretty fantastic by what he demonstrated there. Rob Bins is obviously the dominant one at present. How are you finding it so far? Where are you seeing these two guys going from here? Right now, Rob Bins doing a nice job of clasping his hands together to avoid the armbar, but Andy Craven, very slick on his back, has a jiu-jitsu. You can tell he's really been working on his jiu-jitsu game, but right now he's out of it, and he still has the body lock on Rob Bins, but Bins showing that maturity and showing how his lengthy martial arts training of 14 years and just blasting away on the body of Andy Craven. You know, Rob Bins is in fantastic physical shape, as is Andy Craven. Even though they are separated by 22 years of age, Dad, they both are in fantastic physical shape and are showing a lot of signs of maturity, both inside the cage with them being, with it being their mixed martial arts debut. I completely agree. Both guys are cool. Both are collective. As you can see from here, they're just thinking strategically what is going to be their next plan of action. No one's wasting energy. No one's making silly mistakes at present we'll see what's going to happen as it progresses though that could all change referee neil hall brings them up after a lack of inactivity as now they come and immediately pushing forward is rob bins a nice leg kick and trying to blast away on the body is bins and bins blasting andy craven putting him back they're going in the clinch some knees to the body by andy craven Right to the body, three successful knees by Craven, answering back though is Rob Bins. Andy Craven has got to be careful here. He has taken a few shots, but he's not going to get ahead of himself. He's still going to keep calm, relaxed, make sure he doesn't make silly mistakes like that. He missed that kick, he's completely aware of it, and now he's composed and back in the game. Rob Bins looks focused and look at his eyes. He's delivering some fantastic blows. He needs to keep going at that same pace. If he keeps with that same pace, he could get that lucky hit that he needs. And that ends the first round. What an exciting first round to kick off 10th Legion Chapter Fighting 3 decimation. Rob Baines going head to head with Andy Craven. You know, we've got to give a lot of credit to Neil Hall, the referee in tonight's first opening bout, because he is the head coach at Cage Steel, but he is England's most active referee, so to speak, as he's a 60 referee. He's done all the UK UFC fighters that are in presently in the UFC. 30 years of martial arts training, and that stand-up that he did, bringing both guys to their feet, truly, I think, a great job on his part. Both guys, you obviously, the ref, without hands down, he's doing his job and delivering a good performance. Both guys here, though, as we can probably see, you've got Rob Benz, he still looks calm and collected, ready to go. And I don't think Andy's definitely necessarily tired, but more probably to the point that he's a little bit overwhelmed. It's his debut here. He's going to leave it to live a good performance. Probably a little bit apprehensive of what the way it's going to turn out with. Rob Bins, you could tell his cardio is just tremendous. Whereas the cardio of Andy Craven, he's breathing very hard. Whereas Rob Bins looks like he can go another three to four rounds. Rob Bins lives in London, but is 